Now we have a go for auto sequence start. Atlantis is on board computers, have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. 11, 10, 9, 8. We have a go for main engine start. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Atlantis, opening the door to a permanent human presence in space. Houston, roger roll. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. Atlantis completing its roll, placing the shuttle in a heads-down wings level position for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Seven seconds into the flight, Atlantis's three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back in a three-step fashion to 72% of rated performance. That will reduce the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Everything looking very good for Atlantis. Almost one minute into the flight, the main engine's now beginning to rev up. Go at throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Terry Wilcutt aboard Atlantis. Wilcutt joined on the flight deck by pilot Scott Altman, flight engineer Rick Mastracchio, and mission specialist Ed Liu. Down on the mid-deck, mission specialists Dan Burbank, Yuri Malenchenko, and Boris Maryukov, representing the Russian Aviation and Space Agency. Atlantis already 16 miles in altitude, 13 miles downrange, traveling at a relative inertial speed of 2,200 miles per hour. Three good main engines, three good fuel cells, three good hydraulic power units aboard the orbiter. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. SRB separation confirmed.